Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Games That Inspire Me as a Game Director at Hazardation. And today I've got a really special game. I've got uh, this game here, Police Noughts. It's considered as the first, one of the first interactive cinema, and it's created by Hideo Kojima, who we all know from games like the Metal Gear Solid series, right through to Death Stranding. So let's take a dive in. Police Knots is a sci-fi adventure game developed by Konami and it's directed by Hideo Kojima. Originally it was released in 94 and later ported to the PlayStation 96, which is the game we're playing today. The game actually blends a gripping narrative with elements of detective noir, space exploration, and it's actually labelled as a new genre at the time called interactive cinema. Um, if you'll talk about the story, set in the future where humans have colonised space, Police Noughts follows Jonathan Ingram, a former member of the Police Noughts, a specialized law enforcement unit assigned to protect Earth's first space colony. During a mission which you see in this really awesome opening cinematic, we see Jonathan has some kind of accident and is sent drifting into space in cryogenic stasis. He is then presumed, presumed dead, but 25, late, 25 years later, he is miraculously recovered and still alive and is now working as a private detective back on Earth. His quiet life is disrupted when his ex-wife Lorraine approaches him for help. Now this is all done in a very much like still images with some basic anime animation. Gorgeous animation by the way. Um, but it's pretty, we're pretty much looking at images and text throughout the entire game. So just a big warning there, caveat. This, there is no full on 3D environments or anything like that. This is pure text based and images, which I find very, very compelling. The other elements of the story is that we find that Lorraine, the ex-wife, has asked Jonathan to find her husband who has disappeared, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. And as the investigation gets deeper and deeper and deeper, you start to realise this is a big conspiracy and takes him back to his former police not partner, Ed Brown. The entire game pretty much is you playing as Jonathan investigating a series of crimes involving corporate conspiracies, organ trafficking and the dangers of space living. I mean, these are three complete different things, but somehow Hideo, being the master storyteller that he is, weave all of those things together to create something that is so compelling. This is point and click adventure elements with interactive cinematic sequences. You're seeing it from the POV or perspective of the main character, and you basically just click on various objects such as books, papers, paper clips, beer cans, and everything and anything which progresses with the story and uncover hidden evidence. The shooting segments are always told from a, always played from a first person shooting section. So the players have to aim and shoot enemies using the point dot cursor. But these sections kind of vary in difficulty and you know, you do have limited ammunition and health requiring careful aim and timing. Which, you know, even though this is very retro and very limited, I still found myself quite immersed in the shooting sections. Hedio and his team has really thought about everything to make this text-based point-and-click conversations as immersive as possible. The conversations are pretty much 90% of the core element of the game. It's all about conversations. Um, you choose from different types of dialogue options that inter interrogate witness. And a lot of time you also you can read the character's facial expression and body language, which is very much the use of good visuals you can tell a lot from the facial expressions or the body language that i thought was genius and it even includes flirting this is basic storytelling cleverly weaved into a narrative and flow which you can never get boring the good storytelling script is king and we know this in movies but it's so evident in a game like police Nords. so overall fantastic game again a masterclass for someone like me as a game director that often find myself going back to old school games to see what made games fun and in this case with Police Nought, what makes narrative of gaming so immersive and so intriguing and it really is keep it simple. And I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today in this episode but if you like the content we're making and the games that we're covering then please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button that would really help and inspire me and Alex to continue making more of these cool content for you. Until next time, See you in the next video.